What's your name? I'm Chelsea Hayes. Mm. What do you do? I'm currently working on my um, my default. I'm thinking about speculative fiction, urban geopolitics, um, modernity and architecture. What comes to mind when you think about the future? Contradiction. Particularly in discourses about disaster and potential hope. Yeah, uh, a troubling sort of both and um, worry about um, impending doom um, and utopian hope. So we're asking people to share things with us that have helped them think about the future. What can you recommend? Um, these are not so much, um, I mean, everything helps to think about the future, all the, all the reading that you, that you do, um, because everything, I think, so much of what we do helps us, you know, think through um, issues of empathy and, um, and our reactions and the way we interact um, to other people and to, you know, potential, um, potential disaster. But some of the, some of the texts and, and videos and, and uh, media that have, that have been really uh, interesting and useful to me uh, recently are um, uh, quite a quite a popular one, The Uninhabitable Earth by David Wallace Wells. Uh, so that's nonfiction, um, and and starts quite pessimistically. <laughs> um, so useful for a for a sort of um, get up and do something um, impetus, um, and then. Uh, because I am a, a, a literature scholar at heart. Um, the White Fox and the Red by speculative author E.J. Swift, and a really beautiful kind of consideration of um, the way that we think about memorialising um, the end of particular natural systems. Um, a very old text, a novel by J.G. Ballard, also focused on London, um, the Drowned World, really strange and difficult novel, um, but um, as with so much speculative fiction these days, <laughs> bizarrely prescient. Um, and then a really beautiful film that's available online um, is The Undead Dream of Living by German filmmaker Celine Keller, and it's it's about um, it's about zombieism and about the potential. To, to use zombieism as, um, as an activist kind of uh, force um, or impetus. Um, and then a really lovely journal article, um, useful journal article published in Nature. Um, and it's always exciting when fiction ends up in nature. Um, Hope and Fears for Intelligent Machines in Fiction and Reality by Stephen Cave and Cantor de Hall. I'd say that that's quite a, quite a useful um, go-to in terms of fiction and philosophy.